Hey friends, it's Mel. Welcome back to my kitchen. I've got three new twists on some old favorites that I just wanted to share with you. I think you're going to love them and it's that perfect time of year when we're ready for something cool and light. So join on in, kick back, relax, grab a glass of sweet tea, and let's get to cooking. Before we get into the salads, I wanted to let you know that today's video is in collaboration with my friend Tony from Chaotic Country. They're a family of six. She's a homeschooling mama of four kids that live in Southern Kentucky. I have enjoyed getting to know Tony. She has great content. I know you're going to love her and I'll leave her video link down in my description box. When you're done, go over and let her know in the comments that Mel sent you. So let's get right into it. The first salad we're making today is an old favorite. It's a pea salad. It just has a little bit of different twist than what I've seen before. So the first thing you're gonna do is uh, get your peas all laid out to thaw. It calls for two cups of frozen peas thawed out. I was trying to be real precise here and measure them out, but I had a little bit left and you know, I just threw them in. What am I gonna do with that little handful of peas? So uh, I'll have all these recipes linked for you with exact measurements, but you know how I get with measurements sometimes. For your wet ingredients, you're gonna do three fourths a cup of mayonnaise and then a fourth a cup of ranch dressing. And I have a couple of bottles of ranch dressing that just had a little bit left in them that I'm trying to get cleaned out of the refrigerator. So that's what I'm doing here with two bottles out. It doesn't nearly take two bottles of ranch dressing for this. You're gonna get all that mixed up and incorporated. Then you're gonna start uh, adding in your other ingredients that you're prepping up here. If you're coming over from Tony's, let me just take this time to say welcome to my kitchen. I hope you enjoy what you see. I like to do what's for dinners every Sunday at 8 p.m. Introduce yourself down in the comments. I'd love to get to know you better. Feel free to subscribe and stick around for all the fun. Use about a fourth of a cup of bacon. And I did go a little heavier on these items since I had a few more peas in than what the recipe called for. It's going to throw in about a half a cup of cheese. And I'm just kind of showing you here about what it looks like, how much that I've put in now. Then I used about three green onions in mine. Just chop those up, peel that slimy stuff off of them and chop those up. And while all this is going on, you're going to have about a cup of elbow noodles over on the stove getting boiled up because you are going to rinse those when they get done and uh, get them cooled off real good before you pour them you know over and mix all of it together so there's my noodles coming up to a bowl and I did salt those and this recipe was very good I just kept thinking that it was missing something and I couldn't quite put my finger on it and when I watched this footage back I realized I didn't put any additional salt and pepper in this at all so be sure and go back and um, you know I added a little bit more mayonnaise and ranch dressing after it set and I went to serve it I normally always do that with a salad like this but I never did put any more salt and pepper even a little garlic powder might be good in it but it was a delicious delicious pea salad we had it on Sunday dinner at my mom's here with those good ham and beans and um, potato casserole and you'll see macaroni every Sunday dinner at my mom's because one word grandkids they love it so next we're going to jump right into this broccoli salad and this one is also just a little different twist i tried to lighten this up just a little bit let's work on our wet ingredients first and you're going to take a half a cup of mayonnaise and then you're going to use a half a, a half of a cup of greek yogurt
we're going to dump in this one tablespoon of sugar, then our two tablespoons of lemon juice, just a little bit of salt and even a little bit less pepper. Mix all that together and that's going to make up your dressing that goes over the broccoli salad. And this salad has a sweet, um, almost, you could eat it for dessert even, but it's light and it has a very sweet flavor where the other salads that I'm making today have more of a savory taste. You can do a lot of different things. Just about anything that you can think of you might want to add in and um, would taste good with this too. There you see the dressing all come together and it's pretty runny. So four cups of broccoli goes in here. I am just had a big bag of broccoli clarets there and I'm just kind of chopping the stems off because I'm not crazy about having a lot of stems. I really like the floret part of the broccoli in mine. This and another one of the casseroles I'm making, I took for another Sunday dinner at my mom's. So don't think that I made all these salads one right after the other. Um, we just sure couldn't eat all of that much in you know that short amount of time without that going bad. But we do eat at my mom's every Sunday. She cooks a big spread. And so this was something that I could take and contribute to that too. And we enjoyed it. You're gonna use two small apples. And I think these were galas that I had. I'm gonna chop up red onion, about a fourth of a cup, and that'll go in. And I had some dried cranberries to go in, about a half a cup of those. And I kept going back and putting just a little bit more of these because I do love the way that dried cranberries or raisins or anything like that taste in a salad like this. And there you see how pretty and bright that is with all the pretty colors in it. And then we'll pour the dressing right over the top. Now if you had bacon, bacon would be very good in this too. And I took some out before I added in the pecans. Walnuts would be good in this, but I like pecans best of all. So I had some pecans and I took a little bit out because um, we have somebody that has a nut allergy. So got some out for them and then I just took the rest of the um, pecans and mixed all that in. And the longer all of these salads set, just the better they taste. You know how it is when you put something together like this. Just the longer it sets, the better the flavors come together. So there's that pretty looking broccoli salad. Now let's move on to cornbread salad. I've had cornbread salad a number of times, but when I've had it, it's been very, almost like a stuffing. It was more of a wet cornbread with uh, stuff mixed in. This is more like a, like a layered salad, and I just love this. The recipe said to make up your cornbread. You could just do a pan of cornbread, but I got to thinking um, that Mexican cornbread would be good in this. And you could substitute other ingredients in here if you wanted this more spicy. This is a recipe that's very customizable. Now you have a ton of prep to get ready for this salad. It's not hard, but there's just so many good fresh ingredients. You just got to wash them and cut them up. I had a bunch of romaine lettuce, and then I'm going to chop up some green onion to go in it. I've already got some red onion chopped up, and then you're going to chop up some cucumber. Next up, I have a red bell pepper. You can see there's also some canned and bottled dressings that are going to go with this. So we have our fresh ingredients prepped and now we're ready to put this thing together. So for the dressing you're going to take a cup and a half of ranch dressing. Just regular old bottled ranch or make your own however you like to do that. And then 
you're going to take a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce and you're just going to mix those two together. And that will be your dressing that goes over top. Now I would say this, I would probably go ahead on the front end and make this two cups of ranch and a whole cup of barbecue because when I ate this, I did have to go back and use a little bit more dressing because you're getting ready to see this salad is so big that dressing it just could not get all the way down in there so I baked my cornbread up in a 9 by 13 pan so that I could just bake it and then cut it up and fix it all in one big dish anything I can do on saving a, a dish to wash I love so I've cut it all up and then I'm going to go back in and take my hands and just crumble it. Now you don't want it completely crumbled. You want it in chunks. I wanted this one to hold up and not be a really wet dressing like salad. After that you're going to drain and rinse your pinto beans and pour that over the top. Next you're going to come in with your corn, a can of corn that you've drained. You just want to spread everything out the best that you can. Then you're going to layer your cucumbers. And your tomatoes. And I did use a can of tomato. I've told y'all that before here that I am not good at chopping up and dicing tomatoes. So I'll get them in the can and you just need to rinse them real good if you use that. And then here comes their red bell peppers. And all this wonderful red onion. Then you're going to pour that dressing all over the top and you just want to distribute that as best as you can. And I really did love that barbecue ranch flavor. That was really good on this. Now you're going to take all that pretty green romaine lettuce that you've chopped and washed up, put that all over the top, and the recipe said you're probably going to have to press down here, and I did. I took that big bed of lettuce and just pushed it down as hard as I could, but it was still all puffed up there. This thing was huge. Just come over top of it with some shredded cheese, and then you're going to put your bacon and your green onions all over the top. This was the prettiest salad, and I loved it uh, spread out in this casserole dish. You could put it in a trifle dish like you do a seven layer salad, but I thought this was so pretty and you could really get to everything whenever you went to serve it. Look how beautiful it is. Once you got into it, that is. It was pretty messy to get that first scoop out of it, I'll say. But I just covered mine with some press and seal and I put it in the refrigerator and it set, um, you know, all evening Saturday until after church on Sunday. And here I show you getting it all served up. I was, again, filming my mom serving it. And look, when that comes out, you can just see everything that was in there good. Bacon, corn, beans, red onion, green onions, uh, lettuce, cornbread. It's all in there. And it was so, so good. I just don't know where to look first. But you can see how much is in there. It doesn't even look like anything's been taken out. 
So here it was. I had the um, cornbread salad, and there's a good picture of the pretty broccoli apple salad. There's grandkids' macaroni, and we had a yummy pot roast that day. It was delicious. And don't forget about the pea salad. That was wonderful. We enjoyed that as well. Guys, I hope this gives you some ideas for some things to make this summer. Don't forget to go over and see Tony. Tell her I sent you. And until I see you Sunday night, 8 p.m., what's for dinner? I send you love from my kitchen.